So I went to my rabbi and I looked him in the face and I said, Rabbi, tell me, how can I know God? And he looked at me and he was angry and he picked up his umbrella and he gave me a big <coughs> on the head. He said, that's blasphemy. Get out of here. We grew up celebrating the holidays and keeping all the mitzvot. Went to a Jewish school, a kippah, the tzitziot. But inside, I didn't know God. And I, I felt that there was, there was something not right, that I should have some connection. But I didn't have answers. I saw the fighting that went on and the hypocrisy and the backbiting and went through, through my bar mitzvah in the shul. And then after my bar mitzvah, and I started to question more and more, I fulfilled what every good Yiddish mama wants from her son. He has to be either a doctor or a lawyer. I wanted to be the doctor. So I'm studying hard, and by the age of 16, I was able to be accepted to medical school. That was my dream. But there was this growing emptiness in me. That wasn't going to fulfill me. That wasn't going to make me a whole person. But I didn't know what to do. For the first time in my life, a student came up to me. He looked me in the eye. He said, do you know Jesus? That was a total shock to me. Because in our home, Jesus was, was like a curse word. The Gentiles and the other so-called Christians, we thought they all hated us. I thought the New Testament was an anti-Semitic book, that it was teaching Christians how to hate the Jews. I was angry with this, this fella. He's telling me that Jesus was the one that could take away my sin. Well, I didn't feel like a sinner. He was the one that could save me. I didn't feel like I needed saving, but then he did tell me that I could have a relationship with God. Now that started to make a little sense to me. I wanted a relationship with God, but I, I certainly didn't want it in this kind of way. Well, after toing and froing, we spent actually several hours going back and forth. And he's telling me that Jesus is the door, he's the way, he's, he's the truth, atonement. Well, I understood atonement. Over the course of the next weeks, this girl began to also talk with me, and she was a follower of Jesus too. Finally, she persuaded me. She said, look, start reading in this book, the New Testament. And I opened it. I was a little nervous opening, but I, I started to open, and I was amazed. I started to read about Yeshua, Jesus, and I was shocked to find he was Jewish. <laughs> I didn't know he was Jewish. I didn't know the disciples were Jewish. I didn't know that the whole thing was Jewish. I thought, wow, if this is really true, if Jesus really is the promised one, the Mashiach, if he truly came to be the capra, the covering for the wrong I've done, my eyes began to open. And I started to realize there was a barrier between me and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, between myself and God. I'm not holy enough, I'm not righteous enough. And if that can be taken away, then maybe I'll know God. And then I started to study the prophecies that talked about the one who would come, who would be the Lamb of, of God. He'd be the, like Abram, offering up Isaac. I read Isaiah 53, that he was a suffering servant, the one who was put to death for our transgressions that by his stripes that we can be healed. This is what I want. This is what I need. I was, I was joyed, overjoyed. But what will my parents think? What will the family think? Jews don't believe in Yeshua. And then I started weighing the cost. What, what's it going to mean for me? Do I want to be cut off? Nothing else matters more than knowing God. And like Abram Avinu, I started a walk of faith. I said, God, I'm looking to you to guide me, to lead me and I want to follow you all my, all my days. I want to give everything to you. And I knew I'd found the truth. And I knew that I was a completed Jew now, not just from my Brit Milah, my circumcision in the flesh, but now I had a new circumcised heart, a new covenant. If you can look at the heart of King David in the Psalms, 
If you can look at these prophecies, if you can read Isaiah 53 and see the Mashiach, he is the one. He will bring you that relationship that you, you long for and that you're trying through all your davening and your mitzvot to reach. He's already reached it. He's completed it. Believe in him.